Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best, one of the most simplistic, and one of the nicest front living rooms in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Keystone Alpine Model 3700 FL. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Alpine, three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We are taking a look at a great fifth wheel that's tried and true, that's just been killing it for years in the RV industry, the 3700 FL Alpine. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We're here at General RV of Ocala taking a look at this Alpine. Guys, Alpine's just always been one of my favorite fifth wheels. Tried and true. Yeah, they are. And especially this floor plan. You guys didn't hear, but when Matt and I were on the inside, we were just talking about how it's so simple, but it's just perfect. Yeah. There's nothing to change, really, you know? Exactly, Will. Sometimes less is more. Yeah. Will, we have about nine of these in stock, so okay. make sure you guys stick around for the middle when we give you guys the MSRP. She Sounds won't believe good. it. Well, let's begin. Mine right. is Alpine 3700 FL. The actual tip tip length is 41 feet 6 inches. The dry weight is 14,120 pounds, and the hitch weight is 2,775 pounds. Will, but this may, means you need a one ton? Yeah. Yeah, one ton truck. Yeah, 350, 3,500. Exactly. Don't yeah, you don't necessarily need a dually, but. Right but definitely a little bit more. Yeah. Right up front here, we do have a very nice painted fiberglass front cap. Keystone Alpine, you got the LED lights. This one does have a front windshield there. This is the patented hitch vision, so you can look in here when the truck's backing up, even though everybody has the backup camera now, so it's still a very nice feature. And then right here, Will, it does have the Road Armor trailer pin box from Lippert. Right. Coming on down. Very nice storage underneath with cutouts for a generator. Yeah. Over here is, you can see your hydraulic reservoir. It's for your slide outs, right? Yep. And your, and your six point auto leveling. Yep. Very nice. And look at this. Look at how they labeled it. S1, S2, RR. I don't know what that oh, means. Right there. But you do get a manual and then it makes it easy to, to identify. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right over here is the three year structural warranty. And then coming on down here, I love this, the batteries inside instead of the propane. Oh, that means double propane on the other side. Yes. Got it. And again, six point equalizer leveling. And then here, well, definitely not a ton of storage right. in the front. Oh, and it's not pass through. Wow. That's interesting. Great. Right here, we do have the side marker lights prep for the Furion. Hmm. Furion side cameras. Why was I saying sound? I don't know. Samson Smith. Okay. Up here, check this out. This does have the Solar Flex 200, which is kind of weird, Will, because that little passport the other day had the 400. Right, but sometimes you use the smaller rigs for more boondocking, and mm. you know this is gonna go to a campground. A well, nice in, my, in my face, then. Solid steps right here with a hydraulic assist. The Solar Flex 200, which means there's only gonna be one solar panel on the roof. And this does have the polar package, extended season package, so it's four seasons. Yep. And right here, we do have the Lippert screen assist. So once you're inside, all you do is push down to make the door open. There you go. Frameless windows, Will. Did you say these were strut assisted too? I did. Okay, cool. Frameless windows, very nice power awning with LED lights. And then, Will, look at these tires, Will. They're high specs. I love those. Oracles. ST235-80R16 with the Lippert Road Armor Trailer Suspension there. Nice. Now, Will, we were talking about that front storage, which was lame. Yep. But it's okay. Because right here, we have more, more, and more storage all yes. right here. Very nice. It is. But what's even nicer, Will, is back here. Okay. Back here is awesome storage. Yep, it Pulse. really, really is. Very nice. All right, and then just something like this. Okay. Yep. 
uh, prep for a Furion, prep for a backup camera there. And then, well, there is a ladder to get up on the roof. It's raining and it's a tall one. Are you gonna do it? Let's go up there and take a look. Why don't you just stand Jeez. at the back of the ladder? Goodness. Here we go now. Be careful. All right, we're going on up. Okay. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece, fully walkable TPL roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you can see it does have the one solar panel. Five huge slide outs, all able to have slide toppers. Wine guard, 360 digital antenna there. And then here you do have the place for the Max Air fan covers. Last step. Huh, if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. I freaking love that. Over here is the other side of the storage. Okay. Other storage. And then more storage right here. Very nice. All right, finishing up with the outside. Let's see. Look at this. Very nice. Instant hot tankless water heater. Very nice. Exterior shower, black tank flush, potable water fill, potable, potable. Low point valves, very nice. And then here, this must be the propane. Yeah, there you go. And it is. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside to the bathroom first. Okay. All right, this time we'll start in the back first. Got a nice big bathroom back here. Then in front of that is the bedroom. Coming down, you have your dining area, your kitchen, and the half bath. And then all the way in the front, upstairs you have your front living area. When it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. Well, we're getting this TV up, and while we're doing that, let's give a big shout out to Lippert. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols, telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. Well, simplistic, nice, luxurious. I love this right here. Again, you guys saw that big windshield yep. for light. TV, televator, when it's up, then you're good. You're able to watch TV. And if you don't want it up, you can just drop it down. There you go. Nice storage there. Sound system over here. And more storage here. Yep. Tons of countertop space, whatever you want to call it. And then here's more storage. Okay. Nice fireplace. What is nice about that, it does produce heat from electricity. And then over here is more storage. Storage. Okay. Storage. Very nice. Let's ride. <laughs> Let's ride. If you guys can answer that, I'll give you a prize. Who said then? Why was it awkward? Okay. Do you know it? No, I don't. You. Right here. Nice daytime shades. Privacy shades. Okay. Very nice balances. Sofa right here. Double sofa. The same as that size. They are both trifolds. And they do both come out to make a bed. Tons of windows in here. Very bright. Very spacious. 
Everybody has a good view of the TV, but you know who has the best view? Right here. Yes, sir, the Thomas Payne Collection. Right here, USB heated seats, massage seats, recliner seats, cup holders, remote holder. All very nice, very comfortable and nice. This is everything that you want in a front living room. Right. And you know what, Will? I'm being a fat, lazy pig, because I don't want to make that a bed. You want me to? No, I mean, I want to, but I, I, need to, I need you to support me. I support you. Well, you need to stop supporting me. Being lazy. Exactly. Okay. We'll do it then. Do it. We do it for America. Yes. Let's rock. You really don't know who said that? No, I feel like... It's a sports reference. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. Let's rock. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you. It was Russell Wilson doing a promo. Jen, if you can take it offline, show it here. Let's ride. Let's ride. Broncos let's country. ride. Perfect. Okay. One more time. Broncos country, let's ride. 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 Okay. And if you can't take it offline, Jen, it's okay. Tell Jen not to be lazy, though. Okay. Yeah, Jen, don't be lazy. Yeah, Jen, don't be lazy. But... He, you know how like when you go to a sports game and they'll have the player on the screen right. to like pump up the crowd? Right. It was so... <laughs> he was such a loser. <laughs> really? Yeah. You hear that, Russell? Got your central vac right there. Yes, sir. Show us this kitchen, Will. Okay. Right here. Nice little coffee bar there. A couple drawers here. And then you got some storage on this side. And then your breakers and fuses on that side. Nice pantry space here. Very nice. And a drawer underneath of that. Yes, sir. Over here, you got a nice wine rack up top. All right. And then you have a residential size Samsung refrigerator. Love this. Yes, and freezer down below. Do you think they still make the option of the... Yeah. Oh, okay. The, no, uh, nobody RV gets that. fridge. Yeah. Yeah. You got storage all the way around here all around the nice convection microwave here. Yes, sir. Nice big insignia one. Good backsplash there. You got power. A little bit of counter space on that side. Good amount on this side. Four burner insignia cooktop with the oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then storage right there. Oh, somebody commented. <laughs> we need to start saying turkey denied. Right, I said that one time. Oh, did you? Yeah, because the turkey doesn't want it. Right, you know? turkey denied. Yeah. Nice big countertop space here. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Nice spray faucet. I do like how they do this in the Alpine with the one big sink yep. and the one little. Yep. You got a couple drawers here. Hey! Oh, that's a $156 trash can. And there's two of them. So that's $312. Yes. Thank you for your money. <laughs> and storage there. Perfect. And then right over there, Will, is a half bath. Yes. Right here. Forgot to get the lights. There All you right. go. No liquefied. I know. Nice little medicine cabinet here. Storage here. See, well, it's like we do these reviews. It's just like, oh, I remember this one failed. Oh, yeah. This. this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. Okay. That's why we didn't put liquefied in there, Will. Right. Like, my leg is obviously in the break period yes. of the um of the doorway. Yep. This would have been much better as a pantry. It would have. Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Will MSRP on this fifth wheel here is stock number 266209 in Ocala, Florida is $133,622. Will MSRP. Guess what it's discounted to right now? What's that? Not 133 because they don't have oh, a discounted no. price on the website. But don't worry, Will. 
I told you we have eight of these in the company. Yeah. We're nine. We, we have eight other ones, so nine total. And we have one in Richmond, Virginia at 132214 So a little bit less, but it's discounted 32% off. That's awesome. To $89. Nine nine nine. Wow, that is a phenomenal price. It really is. That's a forty-two thousand dollar discount. And well, as you can see right here, we have them discounted anywhere from eighty-nine, ninety-two, ninety-four, somewhere, somewhere around there. Obviously, again, guys, it always depends on when the unit came in, how old it is, and what options it has. That's right. But regardless, Will, if you're ready to buy this Alpine or any Alpine, and you want to get the best price in America. Go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down below. It's the very first link. You cannot miss it. And if you can, if you do miss it, <laughs> go to mattsrvreviews.com and we'll send you over there. Fill out the form. We have a team dedicated to Matt's RV Reviews viewers that will get you guys the absolute best price in America. And if you don't like the internet, you can call 844-969-4033. Guys... We have nine of these spread out throughout the country. So don't watch this saying, I don't want to go to Florida. Trust me, guys. Call us. We have a place near you. And we are going to take phenomenal care of you. That's all right. Will, here's the dinette. Okay. Nice table there. We have this nice table and chairs. It's a little tight, isn't it? It is. And again, what does it is these. Yeah. These right here. We, we, I think we said that when we did the Montana version of this. Right. Luxury fifth wheel Alpine. This is sister products to the Alpine. Wide, 100 inch wide body. This is a lot of the selling features. And then there is storage underneath this table here. Again, daytime shades, privacy shades, nice light fixtures and everything. Okay. And then coming on up here, this is more pantry space. You know why, Will? Because you can never have enough. No, sir. All right, coming on into the master bedroom. Will king size bed. Okay. Freaking love this. Storage on, not storage, side tables on both sides. Power on that side. There is power on this side underneath that, nice. which is very important. I do kind of like those nightstands too. Yep. Well, it's good for the cell phone. It is, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, headboard looks okay. We have storage right underneath here. Nice. Yes, sir. And then. Tons of closet space, huh? Yep. Tons and tons. Tons of fun. Nice uh, TV here. Drawers. I see a drawer. And another drawer. And more. Well, storage, storage machine. Yes. You know, it's like a three quarter ton truck could tow this, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Metaphorically, hypothetically yeah. speaking. Empty, maybe. But when you put stuff in, that's why we say you need a one-time. Yeah, you know for what sure. I'm saying? When people are like, well, I'll put airbags on the back of my Ram. No, buddy. Right. Get a one-time. And then, well, this is a huge beast. Freaking love it. Show us the shower. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, it's an encore shower. You know what that means. Yeah, Dude, we got to get stock in that company. They make Because th they only make showers that work. Right. Plenty of head height. Oh, that high. Plenty of width and depth. You got the nice little seat. Definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval That's there. Right. Well, right over here, we have a bathroom that Jen would freaking love. She would. This would be Jen's. And that would be mine. That would be yours. There you go. Right over here, the medicine cabinet. Nice storage below. More storage below right there. Huge storage. Yeah. Another medicine cabinet there. GFI, power, and all that good stuff. More storage there. And there it is, oh, the liquefy. Now available on Amazon. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully, that's our <laughs> black toilet chemical. Yeah. You know, I paid a lot of money. I only have two bottles right now. <laughs> right now, yeah. So hopefully we get more. And hopefully it's on Amazon by the time you're watching this. And hopefully will. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm saying hopefully. Cause this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very, very nice. Well, this has to be one of the best bathrooms. Ultimate bathrooms. Yeah, I agree. You know, I'm remembering something. Uh-huh. The 3712 KB, I called that a king bathroom. Yes. This is also a king bathroom. It maybe. is. It this really is. 
just is what it is. Storage there. And then this is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. I love that. Well, Alpine's kicking butt and taking names. And again, for the person who's getting that one in Virginia at $89.9, that's really, really great. And again, even if you're paying $94.9 for the other ones, all very good prices and a very good unit. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we like about this Keystone and three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes, and I actually have number one outside. Okay. Will, dislike number one. I do not like how little the storage is up front. It's little, it's small, it's okay because they do make up for it back there. But the fact that it's so small and it's not pass-throughs, just yeah. dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Will, tell us something else that you dislike about this unit. Okay, I might be stealing this from you a little bit. Uh-oh. But I, I truthfully think with the space they were working with mm. in here, yes. and just this floor plan, they should have just made this a really nice big pantry. Yeah. You know, is it's nice having a half bath sometimes, but in this case, it's just so tight. It, mm -hmm. just, it just doesn't work super well, to be honest. Well, you did steal mine, but Sorry. I do have a third dislike. Here it is, it's outside again. Finally, Will, dislike number three for me is gonna be these pull tank handles. You put storage in here, they're all going to break. Yeah. One, two, three, and four, bring me to the black tank store because <laughs> you better get some replacements, guys, because you have one thing of anything. Could be a bundle of socks. When you make a left turn, they're all breaking. Yep. That is the third thing that I dislike about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about it. And I'm actually going to give you the first one, which is outside. Will, like number one, I can't tell you how much I love this 50 amp power cord reel. Right. These 50 amp power cords, they're long. They are. They're thick. They are heavy as anything. Not only that, when you do have the one that separates, you have to line it up perfect like one of those impossible jigsaw puzzles. I hate that. Not only that, when it's cold, it's even heavier. So to push a button to get it all the way in, that's what I absolutely love. Will, if that's like number one, what's like number two? Will, tell me something that you love about this. Okay, well, you mentioned it earlier. Will, no, why do you do that? Is that we, yours? No, we saved the best for last. Okay, uh, I will say... Can I go again? Sure. Okay. See, Will always tries to say do the best in like the middle. I'm like, no, Will, we got to do the best for laughs. So like number two, Will, I'm, I'm going to say, oh, definitely not that. Right. Like number two, Will, I'm going to say I love this kitchen. Um, I love the solid surface. I love this big residential fridge. I love how big this fifth wheel is, the residential size. Right. You know what I'm saying? I like in, oh, you want to know what else I'm going to say? What? The storage in here. Yeah. Again, that front part sucks, but the rear is phenomenal. But the inside storage is absolutely crazy, and I love it. That is like number two. And then, Will, wrap it up with like number three. Well, see, you thought you read my mind. Oh. But you jumped to the gun because I was going to say the storage in here. Oh. So, are you saying I'm rude? A little bit. <laughs> I, I apologize. I do, I do, respectfully, I do jump to the gun. You do. And it has burned us before. <laughs> but since we're saving the best for last, yes. I'll skip my true love or like. And um, this bathroom is just awesome. Talk to me. And, you know, Jen would, would really love this, how big the sinks are. There's so much countertop space. There's room to get ready in here. Nice big shower. And I really also like how the washer and dryer isn't taking up bedroom space. Yeah. You know, it's really nice. You know, coming from an RVer who is Will, yeah. you know, you definitely learn mm -hmm. from having RVs what's important yeah. and what's not important. And having a big bathroom is very important. It is, yeah. You know, especially for Will and Jen. I mean, they're movie stars. They got to get ready every morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it takes me so long. Yeah, well, it takes takes Jen long. Right. And then again, nice medicine cabinet with liquefied. But, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this Alpine or any of the Alpines or any RVs, go to generalrv.com slash matscast. We've partnered with them again. We're back home at Ocala, and we love it. Um, or go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact form. Guys, we have a whole team dedicated to you. We're going to get back to you ASAP, and we are going to get you the absolute best price in America. 
you can call 844-969-4033. Will, what do you want to say to America? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is such a um, great fifth wheel. Matt and I have been selling this exact floor plan for years since now. Since day one. Yeah, since day one. Um, it's just tried and true, and they haven't, you know, there's been no need to, to take it off the market. Yep. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you love, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.